what's up? This is Derek. And uh, as you know, we've been on the air for about uh, three or four or five weeks now. And I sent David out to the Russellville area to see, just people get people's opinions, see if they've been watching the show and see what they think. So take a watch and see if you like it. Let me ask you something. What do you think of the David and Derek show? I think it could be great if I knew what it was about. What do you think about the David and Derek show? The David and Derek show? The David and Derek show. Never seen it. Never seen it? Wow. Do you know when it comes on? No. It comes on Monday nights at 7 and 10. Monday nights at 7 and 10. You should catch it next time. Okay. All right. The calf is locked, so we're going to bang on the door. She hears me. She just wants to pretend that she doesn't. Hi, how are you doing? We're with TV6. What do you think about the David and Derek show? Uh, I've never watched it. Never watched it? <laughs> Has your friend watched it? No, this is my mom. Oh, can I talk to your mom? What does she think about the David and Derek show? No. She, you don't know. She comes on Mondays at 7 and 10. You ought to watch it. Cool. We got one. They're gonna... Shh. Gotta be real quiet. Asking people what they think about the David and Derek show. All right, we're here with somebody. What's your name? Heath. All right, we're here with Heath. Heath, what do you think about the David and Derek show? Don't watch it. Yo quiero David and Derek. Tu quieres David and Derek? We shall find out. I think I'm ready to order. I think I'd like. Please? Yeah, I'd like uh, two large napkins and a straw. What was that? Two large napkins and a straw. Stop there, please. Okay, we'll pull. We'll pull around front. What do you think of the David and Derek show? David and Derek? Have you ever seen the David and Derek show? No. Ask somebody in there, in there if they've seen the David and Derek show. Let me ask you, what do you all think of the David and Derek show? I don't even know what it is. What do you think of the David and Derek show? I think it's totally awesome. <laughs> she thinks it's totally awesome. And I know this lady, she has good taste, don't you? She has some wonderful taste. I think it's pretty funny, man. You think it's pretty funny? Yeah, I do. Cool. Hold on. The David and Derek show. You so you've seen, seen it? Crazy. Yes, I have. He has seen What's your name? I'm Danny, or Dallas, as many call me. We're here with Danny, or Dallas, as many call me. And he loves the David and Derek show. Great show. Yeah. What do you like about it? Uh, I like the actors. They're pretty nuts, man. They're pretty funny. Pretty, pretty nuts. What do you think of the David and Derek show? <laughs> I, I don't think about it. You don't think about no. it? No. You know when it comes on? No. <laughs> it comes on Monday nights at 7 and 10. All right, come on, let's go. Daniel, what do you think about the David and Derek show? I think it's a great show. Great show. What's your name? Uh, Tim Hall. All right, this is Officer Tim Hall. What do you think of the David and Derek show? The what? The David and Derek show. I guess this is it. This is it, yeah. You never seen it? Never have. Oh, you probably worked the late shift, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that stinks. This golf cart is nice, by the way. When did y'all get this? Oh, uh, we got it about a week ago. About a week ago. That is cool. I bet that's a lot better than those cars. Yeah, Riding around in golf bet. carts all day. You bet. Yeah. We need a David and Derek show golf cart. How are you doing? Yeah. You seen the David and Derek show? No. You haven't seen the David and Derek show? What about you? You seen what David and Derek what? show? Huh? David and Derek show. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. You haven't seen it? No, have uh, you seen the spatula before? <laughs> <laughs> it's being spatula. <laughs> that's, when you guys that special is going to be famous one day. Tech? Yeah, Tech TV6. Oh, this is Beth. She's our ship leader. All right, cool. Can I get a taco? Yes, can you get a taco? Yeah, I think I'm just get a taco. I'm kind of hungry right now. Yeah. You don't give tech yeah. discounts through the drive through do you? Yeah. You do? Okay, cool. Yeah. Taco? yeah, I'll just take a taco. You get kind of hungry out here on the road doing uh, David and Derek show. I think I've said David and Derek like 57 times. 
57 cents? The tech wow, <laughs> that's awesome. We've got somebody here. We're going to ask them what they think about the David and Derek show. Zoom mm -hmm. in on his feet. He's here. All right. Excuse me, sir. What do you think about the David and Derek show? Uh, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm, I'm sorry. Have, have you seen the David and Derek show? Dude, come on. I want to be left alone. All right. He wants to be left alone. We'll, we'll go find somebody else. Thank you. How are you doing? What do you think of the David and Derek show? I've never watched it. You've never watched it? How about you? What do you think? Never never watched the David and Derek show. All right. We'll keep trying. We'll get it. Hey, what do you think about the David and Derek show? Uh, I think it's pretty good. Pretty good? So you've watched it? I've watched it a couple times. He's watched it a couple times. we got somebody that's watched it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What do you think of the David and Derek show? Do you mind if I ask the people in there what they think? Sure. Hey, Nick. Hey, what do you all think of the David and Derek show? <laughs> Has anyone here seen the David and Derek show? Two Quiero, David and Derek. He doesn't watch that channel, he says. Oh, that's cool. That's all right. Can I take your order? <laughs> That'll be 473. All right, pull around to the first window. Thank you. <laughs> We're waiting on somebody to come through the drive through window. We don't exactly have a car to set off one of their sensors, so we have to knock. Yeah, I'll take two large napkins and a straw. And what do you think of the David and Derek show? It's great. She likes sure. the David and Derek show. Yeah. What do you like about it? <laughs> have you seen the David and Derek no. show? Wait. Excuse me. Let me ask something. What do you think of the David and Derek show? It's pretty cool. You like it? Yeah. Cool. He thinks it's cool. I've never seen it, but I bet it's cool. So, yes. Neil, being someone who's uh, been on TV6 before yourself, surely you must have seen the David and Derek show. I haven't caught it yet, but I have caught wind of the rumors of how terrific the show is. Wind? What did it smell like? Well, you know, after Thanksgiving dinner and... Grandpa's over in the recliner, and need I go any farther? We need not. Hey, what do you think about the David and Derek show? The what? The David and Derek show? Huh? What do you think about the David and Derek show? They have a show? Yeah. Monday nights at 7 and 10. What do you think about the David and Derek show? Uh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> he thinks it's great. Come on, let's go. We're going to ask the squirrel what they think about the David and Derek show. Joe, come on. Let's run. Hey, what do you think about David and Derek show? She's coming this way. She does not have a happy look on her face, by the way. She looks pretty upset that I disturbed her from her work. But it's for a good cause, because we've got to get people's opinions. That was how you're playing. What's that? That's how you're playing. Oh, it's some him stuff. Sound, sound pretty good. Thanks. Thank you. I don't have headphones or anything, but you know, I can kind of tell just from watching your fingers that it was it's definitely a pretty good song. What do you think of the David and Derek show? I've never seen it. You've never seen no. the David and Derek show? You know it comes on, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. You gonna watch it next week? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> what if you're on it? Still probably won't watch it. <laughs> I'll watch the David and Derek show. All right. Thank you. Join us as we go via satellite to Arkansas Tech University's new class, Interpretive Dance, right here on the Tech Campus in the whole building.
definition of interpretive dance is? To me, I would have to say that it is an artful, fluctuating expression of the soul's abstract, most inner being, such as a waterfall. Could it be a tear duct? That was wonderful. I really like that interpretation. What about you? When I was a little kid, I always dreamt of being the wind, and the wind overcoming my soul and making me so narcissistical in my ways that I don't even care. Like an emu flocking like a bird of prey upon the soul of the dance. That's a good one. Very excellent. And you? Well, uh, interpretive dance to me would just be a way to to relieve some stress and just do whatever your mind feels like doing at the time, whether you're hearing music or or not, and just basically thinking, you know, in motion. That's my interpretation. Good class. Interpretive dance is touching of the mind, body, and soul. I have hired a professional interpretive dancer today to come and help teach. He will be playing the music.
that would like to play the drums? Oh, me, 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 me. Let me play, let me play.
give me a dollar, I'll stay out of your shot. Seriously? Yeah. I'll give you a dollar? Give me a dollar, I'll stay out of your shot. Alright. I don't want you to come back now. I'll give you a dollar. Oh. You really have okay. hey, 20 at work. I'm a Sorry you, about that. As you can tell by that recent <laughs> scene, students at Arkansas Tech University are having a very hard time financially. Uh, there was a very sharp tuition increase recently uh, due to the lack of funding that our students receive statewide compared to other universities. The next state representative needs to work very hard to make sure that our university is funded at a similar level with other state universities. Arkansas Tech students receive the lowest amount of funding per student of any student in the state of Arkansas. Your next state representative needs to not only understand that, but work hard to change that. As your next state representative, I plan to work hard on that issue and make sure that our students are treated equally to all other students in the state of Arkansas. Arkansas Tech is one of the most important economic All right, units. hold up. Cut, cut. What? What is this? David? Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't think it's that big of a deal, man. Send money. Didn't I just give you money to, like, not come back? It's no big deal. We're just having fun. It's like Mike Lamro, take three or four, something. As I was stating, uh, the District 68 race is very important. Besides funding for Arkansas Tech University and other education here in this here in the district, there are several other issues that are very important. Uh, child support reform is one of the most important issues that the district is facing, and statewide. Mothers and fathers of single mothers and fathers of children need the, the child support, and the children need the child support that they are due. As a former child support attorney, as a former child support attorney, I plan to work hard to reform the state's child support system. Other issues that are very important are criminal justice reform. Our prisons are overcrowded, there's lack of jail space, and we need to reevaluate the priorities of who we're going to place in our very limited jail space. The citizen's safety depends on somebody who really understands this issue. And it's my opinion, and I hope yours, that with my experience as a public defender handling hundreds of criminal cases and dealing with the criminal justice system in, in various different ways, that I understand the stresses that are on our criminal justice system I understand all the key components of the system and the issues that need to be addressed in the next General Assembly. I'll work hard to make sure that those issues are addressed, and I think that's one of the most important uh, things your state representative can do for you. Hey. All right, that's good. I'll speak to the same thing about Eric Estrada. Yeah, what? We got, we got it. Eric, you want uh, Eric Estrada? Be your spokesman in your kit, Eric Estrada? Are you Eric Estrada? Oh, oh that's, that's my cousin. Oh. Guys, we, we've got to go. I'm sorry. Just punch his cousin. Well, let's keep, yeah. keep on shooting. That's well, cool. Yeah. 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 We've we got to go. I'm, hey, I'm sorry. We're done. We're done. I'm sorry. We've got to go. Bye, guys.